An article by Jennifer Gonzalez in 2013, Find Your Marigold, summed up some advice for new teachers nicely. Today, let's adapt that message for our team and say, be the marigold. What do marigolds have to do with teaching or coaching and our preparation for the year? Let's look at something known as the marigold effect. A marigold is a metaphor for a teacher who is a positive, supportive, energetic role model in your school or building. Let's look at the marigold. If you find a marigold beside most any garden vegetable, that vegetable will grow big and strong and healthy, protected and encouraged by its marigold. This is what's known as the marigold effect, and it can happen at our schools. Now let's look at the walnut tree. Successful gardeners avoid planting vegetables anywhere near walnut trees, which give off a toxic substance that can inhibit growth, wilt, and ultimately kill nearby vegetable plants. This too can happen at our schools. Marigolds exist in our schools, encouraging, supporting, and nurturing growing teachers on their way to maturity. Teachers who can find at least one marigold in their school and stay close to them will grow. Find more than one and they will positively thrive. Few teachers will be lucky enough to be planted close to a marigold. Being assigned to one as a mentor, a co-teacher, a team leader, or even a DLTF will really help teachers flourish. You can identify a marigold by the way they congratulate you on arrival, or by the way their offers to help sound sincere, or just by how others feel when they are with them. Are you calmer, more hopeful, excited to get started on a teaching task, comfortable asking questions even the stupid ones, if you feel good around this person, chances are they have some marigold qualities. And sadly, if your school is like most, walnut trees will be abundant. They may not seem dangerous at first. In fact, some may appear to be good teachers, coaches, or even administrators, happy, social, well-organized. But here are some signs that you should keep your distance. Their take on kids is negative. Their take on administration is negative. Being around them makes you feel insecure, discouraged, overwhelmed, or even embarrassed. For example, take Walter Nutt, who starts by asking, why in the world would you want to do something like this? He describes the many others who have failed trying to do this climb, how you'll get sick, how people have polluted the trail, all but destroying what was once a pristine and beautiful mountain. We all know the marigolds and walnut trees on our staff, and at times, even the truest marigold colleagues can demonstrate attributes of the other. In truth, it's much easier to be a marigold thinker and teacher when you are rested and refreshed. The question is, where will your thinking lie this year when time is short, feedback on student work needs to be given, many professional developments need to also be given, and so many meetings are scheduled. Once the school year gets into full swing, how will you check your default setting to Marigold? So, in the spirit of identification, here are some common walnut tree varieties to look out for. I am Kid Hate and Kate, and I will snort and sneer every time you share a positive anecdote with me about your students. Spend enough time with me and you will believe every single one of them students is a lying, cheating sneak. And you're a fool if you think otherwise. Hey now, I'm Retirement Dan. I only have six months till I'm out of here and I'm gonna remind you every chance I get. You only have about 30 years left, right? <laughs> Your enthusiasm is cute, but don't worry, it'll wear off. Hey y'all, I'm 20 
page, Tina. I love to set impossibly high standards for my students, and I brag when they fail. Your kids wrote a five-page essay, well, my kids wrote a 20. Your CFA only had 10 questions, mine had 100. I mean, only 12 passed. Mine say my tests are the only ones they ever have to study for. Once you spend some time with me, you'll have the urge to triple the workload of your students. And I believe you'll probably add 10 trick questions onto the assessment just to lower your average. Hey y'all, people call me badass Bobby. I heard you talking in the hallway about how your students were acting up. And I'm just letting you know, they ain't gonna try that crap in my classroom. When you hang out with me, you'll end up screaming at your kids all day long and they are sure gonna behave. Hey y'all, my name is Hattie Hates the Principal. I think you pretty much get it. My name is Lawsuit Steve. I saw you touch that girl's forearm in the hallway. Uh, you better watch out. I had to give up uh, hugs years ago. You better be careful. Hello. My name is My Time Margaret. I only get 30 minutes for lunch. Also, I don't know if you heard, but I serve one more day of car duty than everyone else around here. And I am leaving here at 3.30 sharp because in case you don't know, they can't keep you after your contracted time. Welcome. My name is Good Old Days Judy. I hate anything new. And I'm going to tell you all the time how much I hate it. Uh, things were so much better in the good old days. Most of us want to surround ourselves with Mary Gold colleagues like our dear Miss Mary Gold. And most of us want to be one. By being a good listener, a doer, and an encourager, you can contribute to a supportive culture and add value to the team. Will you be the plant in the garden that supports not only just new teachers, but all of your colleagues, allowing them to flourish? Or are you going to be the walnut tree and slowly drain the rich nutrients from the soil around you until the plants nearby wilt? Among all of the preparation you can do this year, deciding who you want to be, and then taking steps to live that ideal is perhaps one of the most important. Be a Marigold. Congratulations on coming to our school. 